Okay, hi guys. Today I'm doing um, New Year's um, reading for Nick and Sal 001 and she has asked me to do a reading for her and I've already shuffled and picked up 12 cards for you representing the 12 months, the 12 uh, different sort of energies coming through for you and this is your spread and uh, okay just Now this, uh, the, now the first half represents the first half of the year and the second half is the second half of the year and um, you have a very interesting uh, spread um, you, you actually sent me an email the other day asking about um, spiritual, um, finding out about your life purpose, your life journey and interestingly, you have no major arcana cards, so that's very interesting. Um, very, very interesting. So, yeah, and also you have three card cards. Um, however, I do see a lot of financial prosperity coming to you, especially in terms of career work, a lot of financial prosperity in the month of August. Um, all the way to the month of November so I do see a lot of um, very good um, financial prosperity in terms of career, job very good, a um, lot of money coming in for you and also uh, in the spreads I do feel um, as you as a person I do feel that uh, your home environment, your home life is something um, something very important, something you treasure, something you really work hard and make sure that uh, that everyone is happy, um, healthy, everyone is secure and uh, something you really really look, um, um, you really put a lot of heart and soul and a lot of passion into it. It's, uh, your home environment is always very important. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles here. Uh, now, this Four of Pentacles doesn't necessarily speak about mm, home, but it does speak about security issues in the home environment. So, okay, let me just give you a quick, um, quick reading uh, with each individual card. Just a quick rundown. Now, I, I apologize if I speak very fast. I really want to get this done within 10 minutes, so if I speak too fast, I apologize if I mumble. If I speak, I also apologize. Okay? Now, now for the ten, sorry, for the nine, nine of swords. This is the energy for the month of January, and I see there's someone coming into your life, someone who will make a uh, su surprise visit or some sort of um, someone who will come into your life urgently, quickly. Um, this person has a lot of energy, a lot of uh, passion, uh, a lot of aggression as well. Now this person has um, has a lot of ideas and a lot of knowledge. He's carrying with him. Um, most likely, oops. Most likely, this is related to something uh, related to work, work, career, and idea, and knowledge. Um, very persuasive person, full of confidence in his ideas, in what he wants to to get through. This card could represent you or it could represent someone uh, close to you close to you. Now this um, Knight of Knight of Swords, now this guy is um this guy is slightly different from the other knights because um his energy is um different because even though he's in the upright uh, position, there's still a lot of uh, aggression, a lot, a lot of aggression, a lot of energy, a lot of um a lot of quickness in his uh, decision making so this so there's a lot of uh, there's something coming through someone coming through in your life in the month of january and this person uh he could be a gemini because he's carrying the sword the element of air gemini Lib libra uh, libra or aquarius and so this is someone coming into your life giving you a new idea, some new uh, prospect, some new project 
and in the month of Jan uh, February, sorry, month of February, I see a happy home, happy environment. Everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. Um, a lot of financial security, uh, blessings in the home environment. A lot of blessings. This card also speaks about um, inheritance. There could be an, um, some sort of inheritance that might come true come true into the family line. Now, the Ten of Pentacles uh, talks, even though it talks a lot about the happy home, happy contented uh, family life, it also talks about as a family you could be making a decision about purchasing um, purchasing property, property, land, some sort of business or investment as a, as a family, as a family group. Okay, now, now this is a very good card and uh, you have the four of swords in reverse. Now I'm going to go into the month of April with a ten of cups and the four of swords in the month of March because you have this card in between the two home home life, home environment with a ten of pentacles representing family, home area and the ten of cups also representing family home area but more on the emotional aspect of the home environment uh, emotional uh, fulfillment emotional contentment and i see that there could be some sort of event coming uh, in the month uh, month of april now uh, in this card in the four of uh, swords i see that, that you could be in a, a situation where you could be recovering from Ill illness some sort of minor illness, it could be recovering, uh, getting back into your feet, getting back into action, uh, being more involved in the family affairs, family environment, more involved. Um, it could also talk about um, getting some rest, ha be having a bit of stress due to illness, having rest. Uh, it could now this card because you have it in between the family home is it could also talk about being sec um, secluded some sort of seclusion in in your environment due to the fact that um, you put yourself in a position because of family commi commitments, okay. And um, it is not this is this card is not a negative card so don't worry this. This card is always telling you that uh, you're getting back into action because of family commitment and you're coming out of it. So it's still a it's still a positive card in terms of getting um, getting back uh, getting back into action, coming out of illness, um, getting more involved in terms of family affairs. Now the next card is the Ten of Cups in reverse, and this is uh, represents the month of April. Now I do see there could be some minor conflicts, some minor problems in your home life, home, home environment, family environment, some minor problems, situation, there could be a fight, uh, minor quarrels, um, some sort of minor events that could disrupt the harmony of the family life over here. And in the month of May, I see the page of cups. Now. This guy, uh, I'm not. Sh I don't know if you are married or if you have children. I'm not very sure about this, but I see this guy being very affected by the home environment, being uh, a bit affected by what has happened, and I see this guy being a very emotional, emotionally uh, involved, emotionally uh, unhappy, perhaps a bit depressed. And this could be a very, very young person. If you, if you have children, this could be a young child, a son, daughter. Okay, and this could be a very young person. Uh, the Page of Cups also talk about someone under the star sign of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, I'm going to end the video here because it's nearing 10 minutes.